Hello YouTube, this is Tutoring Potential and today we are covering Geometry Semester Review for Palm Beach County. This is part four and we are starting with number 35. If we want to find the value of x, the first thing we're going to do is see that these are linear pair. So we'll take 180 minus 116 to fill in 64. And the three angles and triangles sum to 180. So we'll sum 75 and 64 to 139. We'll subtract 180 minus 139 gives us 41. And number 36, we have vertical angles. So both these angles are 110. We add 110.58 to get 168. We subtract that from 180 and x equals 12. Okay, 37, it says the two triangles shown below are congruent. Find the value of B, C, D, E, F, and G. B through G. Well, what they should do, uh, it's, it looks pretty obvious. Well, they're oriented the same way, but it really should name the three vertices of each triangle and tell you the order. Like say, I don't want to add more variables, but uh, say X, Y, Z, and you know Q, R, S. It should tell you the order. Anyway, we're just going to match these and uh, B is this segment 12, C is this segment 5, D is this, seg is this angle 23, E is the right angle 90 degrees, F corresponds to this angle 67, and G is the hypotenuse 13. We get a 5, 12, 13 right triangle. And what I want to do just real quick is to see if I take, uh, let's see, if I want to take the uh, sine of 23 to the opposite over the hypotenuse, which would be 5 over 13, which is 0.38. And if I take the sine of 23 degrees is 0.39. Okay, I just wanted to check to see if those angles were were going to be pretty close, and they are. What other information do you need in order to prove the triangles congruent using SAS congruence postulate? SAS is side angle side. So what we're these angles are marked. What I'm going to do is mark AC equal to AC. That's given. Oh, I just had it. AC congruent to itself. That's reflexive. Property of congruence. So if I know that segment BA is congruent to segment DA, then I will have two sides and the included angle, two sides and the included angle, which is SAS. To prove, again, the triangles, it should name them. It, it should say DAC and BCA, but it doesn't. To prove them by ASA, okay, what's marked? What's, what was marked on the question is this angle, which is ACB, and this angle, which is DAC. We'll mark AC equal to itself. That doesn't, it does, I mean, we know that. It doesn't count for the question, most likely. But if we have angle BAC congruent to angle ACD, then we have angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle. Then I just redrew the same figure by SAS, and I had the same two angles here, and this side, shared side AC. If I know side segment AD is congruent to segment CB, uh, then I can prove that 
those two triangles are congruent by side angle side. Okay. These may take a little working through because I haven't done these yet and we are writing proofs. If I want a paragraph proof given AB equals DC and AC equals DB and I want to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DCB right that's what they should do they should show you the order uh, well in a paragraph proof I'm not going to restate my given I'm going to say CB is concurrent to CB and that's the reflexive property of congruence and uh, I'll, I'll go right to my proof statement triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DCB by side 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 if I prove the three corresponding lengths of the triangle are congruent that's side 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 Okay, write a two column proof. Normally, what you would do is, well, I, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this up here. I'm just going to mark. Okay, statement. reason. Now again the test is multiple choice so you won't be asked to, to do this uh, at least on the ones that I've heard about. I'm gonna go ahead and, and write all the given. Ray AC bisects angle D A B Ray CA bisects angle DCB you know what I don't have well I guess I'll draw a picture D because because I thought maybe that this figure went with both, but there's no figure here, so your guess is as good as mine. Ray, this will be D A B. Ray A C bisects D A B and CA bisects CA it doesn't it, it doesn't make sense AC bisects DAB and CA bisects DCB I guess Here's the here's it can't go with these because a c doesn't bisect anything, and my other problem is that these are rays. So if I have two rays this way, I really have a line. Okay. So then these two angles are equal. Okay. Sorry that was all off camera. What's going on is that I have line AC and it's so what it's going to look like I'm going to draw somewhere to above AC bisects DAB D 
A, B, and C, A, and okay, here we go. So this angle is equal to this angle. This equal is angle to this angle. All right, now the reason one is given. And then what, really what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say this side is equal to itself, and then I'm gonna prove the triangle is congruent by side angle side. So there's no way to really keep that on camera. CA is congruent to CA and again they're using reflexive property of congruence. Uh, I would write them out if you ever have to do this on a test <clears throat> and then I'll go ahead and do the proof statement And that's, uh, I'm not sure what I said before, that's angle side angle. Okay. Let's see what's next. They, you know, that's just, uh, can't help it when the questions aren't written very well. Nothing we can do about that. I want another two column proof. See if I can do this in a couple minutes here. Statement. Reason. Again, I'll just do all the given. Sometimes in a longer proof, you'll split it up to show where you're actually using it, which is just good practice. The, the given always goes here, and the reason one is always given. Um, uh, and the figures marked AB is equal to AC, BAD is equal to CAD, prove AD bisects BC. Technically, I could do this by all I have to say is just the definition of uh, an angle bisector. If B, bi oh, I bis I'm sorry, it bisects BC. Okay. If it bisects BC, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say D DA equals DA. We're good. reflexive property of they're really hammering the congruence property that might tell you something as we go to this test and then what I'm going to say is I'm going to use sorry triangle CDA is congruent to triangle uh, CDA, BDA And that's uh, side angle side. And then CD, C, angle CDA equals angle BDA. Your CDA is congruent to angle BDA. And that's corresponding part. It's corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And then I'll say AD bisects BC and that's just definition angle bisector. I'm trying to get this finished on time. Okay, so basically what we're using is once we prove congruence corresponding parts are equal and because this angle is equal to this angle then DA is by definition the angle bisector. Uh, thanks for watching. Any comments please leave them in the comments section and we'll continue with the next part.